Okay, so here we are. This is this video is about my uh, 12 generation Alder Lake build. These are all the parts. In a nutshell, I'm going to go over it fast so I can uh, get started uh, building. <coughs> so uh, first of all, we got the i9 Intel Core i9 12900K. Uh, this uh, CPU bad boy has uh, 16 uh, cores, 24 threads. Uh, for the memory, I got the Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5 memory, 32 gigabyte total, two sticks, uh, 16 gigabyte per stick, running at uh, 5200 megahertz. <clears throat> As a boot drive, I got the, the Corsair 4 series MP600. So this boot drive is Gen 4, has one terabyte <coughs> running at uh, 4950 uh, megabytes per second, 4250 uh, megabytes read per second, and I got like uh, an extra four terabyte for uh, games and whatnot, <coughs> some other things. Let's move on. Uh, for the cooler, let me move that. I got the IQ H100i Elite Capellix. It's a 200 mm, 40 millimeter uh, cooler. <coughs> and uh, let's move some of, of the stuff around. As you can see the motherboard. Over here I got the ROG Strix Zen 690G uh, gaming Wi Fi. Micro, micro ATX motherboard, I made a video about it and it's gonna go into the <coughs> Corsair 280X I've had this case for a while now, just been sitting on it uh, waiting, it's what I've been waiting for uh, this build so actually gonna be able to use it right now moving to the graphics card this is the RTX 3080 tough Asus stuff. It's the OC version, so you can overclock it easily. <coughs> uh, and the power supply is a Corsair HX 1000i Platinum. It's a 1000 watts. It's a bad boy, ready to be <coughs> delivering hardcore power to this build. Uh, so what am I? What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to. Uh, Build my PC and we'll take a look at the end results. Stay tuned, take care of it. So far, I've installed the motherboard, the fans, the cooler. It seems to fit pretty well with the LGA 1200 kit. I've used, uh, thanks to ASUS for making uh, the 1200, uh, LGA 1200 uh, holes for it, so. It fit pretty well. Of course, we won't know until we fire this thing and see that the thermals on the CPU, and uh, we'll see if it actually works well. So uh, yeah, let's check back on it soon. Well, it is done. The build is complete. Um, so basically, this thing fits perfectly with the. Uh, LJ 1200 uh, coolers, the this motherboard, it works perfectly. You don't need to worry about any of that. If you have uh, an ASUS motherboard, at least with the the Elite Capellix, the H100i Elite Capellix, it works beautifully, nicely done. Uh, yeah, haven't had any issues whatsoever. It works perfect damn near silent too uh, so let's go over the specs again uh, I'm running the i9 12900K uh, for memory I have the Dominator, Corsair Dominator 32 gigabyte, 16 uh, gigabyte each <coughs> for the cooler I have the Corsair IQ H100i uh, Elite Capellix for the graphics card, I have the RTX 3080 Tough, ASUS Tough. The case is a Corsair 280X. 
the power supply is a Corsair H, uh, the Corsair HX uh, 1000i. Uh, and the fans around here are all LL120. I just love them. They're super quiet even when they're on full load, for me anyway. So, had to use them. And I got like a cable, like a black and blue cable, so that's my color. I still have to figure out how to change the memory. It doesn't appear on IQ for some reason. I saw that you have to tweak something in the BIOS. I will do that later. Uh, yeah, and the motherboard. I forgot to mention the motherboard, of course. Everything. Well, the one part that holds everything here is the ASUS Strix uh, Z6090-G. Uh, it's a micro ATX motherboard, obviously, for this case. It's amazing. It's an amazing motherboard. It works perfectly. And the peripherals. I forgot to mention the peripherals. I got new peripherals as well. Uh, this uh, is the K something. I don't remember the this mouse. <laughs> but... Uh, this is the K55, I remember this one, and of course the Corsair Void. This is this is my uh, crown jewel, I would say. I absolutely adore those uh, headphones, so finally managed to get them. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. The build is completed. I'm pretty happy about it. it runs pretty well. Uh, did some uh, testing, updated the BIOS, uh, tweaked a little bit. I'm not, I didn't get to overclocking yet, but I will. Uh, I will update if anything uh, happens to, if I come across any issues or anything. But uh, that's basically it. And I managed to uh, build my brother, my uh, previous build. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it away to my brother, so. I uh, modified some of the parts because obviously some parts went to my current build, my new build. So <clears throat> he's getting this one. I just kept the liquid cooler, it's the H150 Pro. And uh, these, I replaced the fans. Obviously, I had these fans over there. These are just uh, Cooler Master Sickle Flow RGB. It's uh, the regular RGB, not ARGB. <clears throat> and uh, memories, uh, the old DDR4, the Corsair Vengeance, it's a 64 kit, it's uh, four uh, sticks of uh, 16 gigabyte each. The motherboard is uh, an ASUS X0, it's a Z37 uh, 3070 uh, chipset, and M.2 uh, is just some crucial P1, M.2 on the ME, it's 500, and uh, I hooked him up with some hard drive that I had laying around, so it should be okay for now. Just for work, I guess. If he wants to get into gaming, he will have to get a graphics card. Obviously, I didn't leave him the RTX 3080. Come on. I gotta take that. That's mine. <laughs> get your own. If you can find one. <laughs> well, yeah. He will get uh, his own graphics card. I even left uh, cables in there for him so he can hook it up so he won't have to go through the back. It's uh, it's not pretty, let's just say that. <coughs> I made uh, the best cable or cable management I could on the back anyway, but who cares about the back, it's the front that matters. <laughs> well, uh, the PSU that he has here, it's a NVGA that I managed to find online. I had a video about it uh, a while back. It's uh, 700 uh, watts. You can't see it right now because it's on the other... Uh, this uh, has like a dual uh, chamber, so it's on the other chamber, obviously you can see it, but it doesn't matter. It's over there, that's what matters. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I got my new build right here, my brother got, well, it's new for him. It's not new, but it's new for him. He got himself a build as well. This has uh, pretty much been my video about all these parts, all the build that I've been planning all along. I'm going to be sitting down on it and, you know, checking everything out, making sure everything runs smooth, you know, and uh, having fun with the new build, you know. <laughs> well, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.